Jordan, based on your um, knowledge of not just uh, what we call the Old Testament or the Jewish uh, Bible, when it comes to the Jewish tradition and folk tale, uh, we were speaking earlier about Cain, right? So is there like an information, some detail or two that you want to share with the, with the audience? Uh, we're not saying we believe in that to be truthful, but it's still a very interesting detail when it comes to vampires. Yeah, so as I, as I mentioned, um, vampiric entities in, in the very broad sense of parasitism go way, way back in Sumer, uh, but they originally start off as or are nightmare, like evil demons, um, like not not human in the slightest. Um, in that sense, you'll often see Lilith referred to as a vampire. Um, that's a little, that's wrong if we're just talking about the corpse spirit, but if we're talking about parasitism, that's true. Uh, the interesting one sort of is, is Cain. Um, so in, in a Midrash, and we're going to put a little asterisk there because a Midrash is not the same <laughs> as a historical document within even within jewish tradition it's not a his, like it, if you see oh i saw this in a midrash that doesn't mean it's historical even as far as, far as like even very very orthodox very like haredi jews are not going to tell you that everything put down in a midrash ever happened um but in one of the midrashim it debates uh, a passage in the hebrew regarding asav hu hugging jacob and it notes, we don't have to get into the Hebrew, it's, you don't really need, it uses a, a Hebrew method or Jewish ex method of exegesis to note that the way it describes Esau hugging Jacob is identical to the way it would, or changes by a singular consonant from the way it would describe biting Jacob. <laughs> and from this, it deduces Cain was a vampire. That's not, as I said, that's not historic. That's not intended to be historical because it shows up in a darash, a sermon. Um, and the method used is not a method usually associated with the pashat, the literal interpretation, uh, which is the vowel um, method of vowel substitution. It is a traditional method of exegesis, but the, the point of that method is not to determine facts. It's to debate theology or all truths about reality. Um, so it gets into this lengthy discussion when it's talking about Cain as a vampire. It's sort of, um, last time I was on here, I mentioned that one of the chief sources for folklore prior to the rise of modern folkloristics, when everyone was, all the English gentlemen were wandering the hills talking to peasants for their primordial wisdom. <laughs> one of our chief earlier sources of folklore is theologians using folklore for theology. So in the case of the Jewish Midrashim, the vampire sort of becomes this primal context on, or primal discussion on um, parasitism, specifically in the sense of uh, trying to gain power over others through force as a form of immortality, which was explicitly characteristic of, say, Aesop. Uh, 